What is a stem cell transplant and how do you decide who is a candidate for that treatment? A stem cell transplant involves getting new seed cells or stem cells, usually an AML, from a donor. Um, when it's coming from a donor, these new stem cells, uh, that's called an allogeneic transplant. We used to refer to bone marrow transplant because the original source of those stem cells was from the bone marrow of the donor. The donor would be put to sleep in an operating room with anesthesia and the cells would be directly harvested uh, from the back of their hip. Increasingly, in recent years, the stem cells have been harvested from the blood of the donor, so now instead of bone marrow transplant, we refer instead to stem cell transplant. In rare cases, the stem cells can even come from the umbilical cord of a, a newborn uh, baby. As far as who's a candidate for it, that largely depends on three things. First of all, is the patient's AML likely to be cured with chemotherapy alone, and if not, then stem cell is a consideration. Secondly, is the patient healthy enough to undergo a stem cell transplant? So a patient who's you know, had a kidney transplant and is not doing well and is back on dialysis, that's not a patient who could tolerate a, tr a stem cell transplant. Um, Finally, the age of the patient. When I started in medicine, you know, we used to say beyond about age 50, stem cell transplant was too dangerous. That level, that age cutoff has gradually been pushed up so that we are now routinely sending otherwise healthy patients in their 70s for stem cell transplant using what are called reduced intensity approaches. We have transplanted at our center a number of patients, 74, 75, 76. The oldest we've done successfully was 78, last I heard. So the upper age limit is, is uh, being pushed. One also needs a donor, and for younger people, Often the best donor is a sibling that just happens to be fully matched for the tissue type. For older patients, they may not have a sibling who's matched or their sibling may be old and may have medical problems. And so there we are typically looking for an unrelated, unrelated donor uh, in the National Marrow Donor Registry who just happens to match by chance. There's over 20 million people in that registry. And for most people, there is an acceptable donor in that registry. For those where they just don't have a donor in the registry and they don't have a sibling, increasingly we're using a child as the donor, what's called haplotransplant, which means a half-matched because the child gets half their genes from mom, half from dad, so a child would be half-matched automatically for a parent.